Hello everyone, so right off the bat, I just want to say this speed paint is fan art for uh, The Green Inferno, not Cannibal Holocaust. They're very different movies, very similar, but also pretty different. Uh, so yeah, uh, so I watched Cannibal Holocaust for the first time uh, as part of the whole disturbing tier list thing I'm doing, and it like, it just needs its own video because, bruh. Okay, so one of the big things about the movie is that there's like real life animal cruelty. Um, like they kill, I've heard like five or like nine animals on screen, but I only remember like three of them. And like, and okay, I'm not a huge like animal person anyway, but like, bruh. <laughs> it was like, okay, one of them was like super abrupt, so there was no way to like skip through it. Because it was really, like, violent right in your face, but it took, like, two seconds, so it's, like, okay. Um, very, like, it wasn't fun, but, like, it didn't last long, so it's, like, okay. But then the turtle scene, oh my goodness. I, like, okay, I'm a cheater because I, like, did the ten second skip thing throughout it, so I, like, got most of the imagery, but, like, I'm not subjecting myself to, like, 40 seconds of that. No, thank you. Um, <laughs> so, uh... Yeah, okay, so, also they step on a snake, which just, I love, okay, I like reptiles, um, I feel like the turtle scene, like, happening to any other animal also would have just, like, been too much because it's very long, um, so, like, whether I like turtles or not, like, it's gonna hit different <laughs> in a bad way, but, like, the snake, oh, that made me so mad. I mean, the snake was poisonous. It bit a guy. That's why they killed it. But, like, in real life, bruh, you couldn't have, like, had a little fake snake in there. Okay. Also, okay, this might be a little, eh, I don't know, uh, but, like, the misogyny in this movie. Okay, listen, I can, I can handle sexual assault scenes in movies. But, like, okay, listen, listen. I, I've seen my fair share of rape revenge movies. Like, I, like, a rape scene in and of itself isn't gonna, like, traumatize me, right? But, like, there's at least two of them in this movie. And, okay. The thing about this movie is that it's a found footage. It's about, like, a guy, an anthropologist kind of guy, looking for these adventurer people. I don't really know what their whole deal was. I can't remember. But, like, who went missing. And so they find this, like, found footage this anthropologist guy finds the footage of the the explorer people who were making their own documentary. So they were filming everything, and now this anthropologist guy is filming, I think. So, he is looking for them in the jungle, right? And he sees this guy, like, raping a woman and killing her as part of, like, a ritual or, like, I don't know, it's like some sort of traditional thing in the tribe or whatever for like sexual immorality or something you get raped and die um okay but then the same guy he's like oh my god that's so horrifying like how could they do this but then he's watching some footage of the the explorer people like the initial group that went there and they're like in their like tent or something or no it was before they left i think they were in like a hotel or something and i don't think they had a tent what am i talking about they're in a hotel and one of the guys, it's a group of like three guys or four, I can't remember, and one woman. And so they're filming the woman getting out of the shower and she doesn't know they're filming. And so like, it's so aggravating because, okay, she like notices they're filming and she obviously rightfully gets pissed and like tells them to stop filming and they don't and they laugh at her and I'm like, oh my God, I hate these people. And the anthropologist guy watching all this, he laughs too and he's like, these guys are such clowns. Like, no, clowns buy you in the face. <laughs> they don't violate your body. Okay. But it's just, it's like the same guy who thought the rape was so horrible. I thought this was funny. And I mean, like, it's obviously not as bad as rape, obviously, but like, bro, come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then uh, there's another rape scene near the end. The female uh, crew member, like, gets, I mean, they all get killed, but she gets raped, obviously, because she's the female character. Whatever. But like... It's so... I hate it. <laughs> like, again, I've seen... I don't know what's exactly different about this one, but, like, 
you know, I've seen many a rape scene in my day, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's just weird, man, I don't know. The crew also, like, films the one lady and her boyfriend, like, having sex, and, like, he isn't bothered, but she is, and again, they play it off like it's nothing, like, it's just a joke, bruh. Um, <laughs> but, uh, I mean, maybe he was probably upset, but, like, she was considerably more upset, I think, um, if I'm remembering correctly. And, like, okay, I'm really upset because there's so much good stuff going on here. It's like they go to investigate this, like, this tribe of, like, cannibals, I guess. And it's like, it's like, oh, they're so scary, but then these people are also, like, just as bad for exploiting them. But they're also, like, just absolute menaces to the woman in their lives. <laughs> um... Which I feel isn't really addressed, it's like, ooh, this society bad, and this society attacks this society, but it doesn't really say anything about how they treat women. Which is, I mean, does it? I don't know. I feel like it's not quite in your face enough. I mean, I don't know what I mean by that. Okay. I feel like if you're a guy watching, you probably won't pick up on that, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and like... It's got some good ideas here, and the gore is so good. Like, it's really good. Um, there's a funny story about how, uh, okay, so when the movie was released, people thought it was real, right? And so, and the director put the actors, like, in hiding, like, not put them in hiding, but, like, just said, don't make any public appearances, like, don't do any other acting for, like, a year, so that people think they're, like, missing, and, yeah. Um, so he had to, like, prove in court that they were alive, and then he also had to prove that this one stunt of, like, a person being skewered was fake, um, and they had to, like, demonstrate it. It was, I don't know, I just thought that story was funny. Um, so yeah, um, but, in, okay, if this movie was remade, it would be so cool, because obviously they wouldn't kill animals, probably. I mean, if this was, like, a, like, a movie <laughs> being made nowadays when there are, like, regulations and stuff. So, uh, yeah, I just, I can't see how any of the animal killing, like, was worth it. Like, you don't need to, like, do that to make the movie seem more realistic. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just can't in good conscious, conscience call this a good movie or recommend it to anybody. It's just, it's not a fun time. Yeah, <laughs> I know it was probably like meant to not be a fun time. I mean, but even as far as like horror and disturbing content goes, like most disturbing movies I've seen were like fun, like they were enjoyable. Um, that probably sounds weird if you're, like, not into disturbing movies. Like, how can this type of disturbing be fun, but not this kind? But, like, yeah, I don't know. Just something about knowing that the animals are real is just, like, I wouldn't recommend... I wouldn't wish my worst enemy to watch that stuff. Uh, I mean, that sounds, like, really drastic. Like, OMG, I'm traumatized by this. But, like, like I'll get over it, but it's, like, does anybody really need to see that? No, nah. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, so watch The Green Inferno instead. It's a little problematic in different ways, but, like, at least they didn't literally kill animals. <laughs> so, yeah, also I just like the imagery a lot. I Okay, I wasn't going to talk about The Green Inferno, but, like, the gore, top notch. The colors, okay, I just want to say like, right off the bat, okay, I guess it's not right off the bat in, like, the whole video, but... Um, the people in this drawing, like, the ones that are all red, they're wearing red body paint. I don't want this to come across as, like, like, the whole, like, indigenous people, like, having red skin or whatever. Like, they're, they're wearing body paint or, like, blood or both. I don't know. Um, so yeah, just putting that out there if you haven't seen the movie, if you're not familiar with it at all. With it at all. I cannot speak with my mouth to Hmm. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I love the imagery of just, like, the people with the red body paint, like, in the forest, because green and red are complementary, it's like, yeah, art. And, like, I never see it done in, like, a way that looks nice without, like, being Christmassy, right? But, yeah, I, I really like the imagery in this movie. The body paint they put on the main girl is so cool. Um, yeah, I just love the contrast between, like... Because, like, in Cannibal Holocaust, the trees are, like, realistically green, but, like, in the Green Inferno, they really, like... It's green. <laughs> like, it's so bright. And then the, the red-painted people are so bright. And it's like, bruh. And then there are, like, a couple characters with, like, yellow body paint on to, like, add a little bit more contrast. And it's just chef's kiss. I love this movie. Um, is it bad? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's good. But there's... Mm, okay, I'll just put it this way. Okay, 
Eli Roth said when making this movie or something that he like his goal was just to like piss off the SJWs in like 2014 so like that's a good kind of indicator of what you're getting into it's not like it's kind of it's very straw manny uh yeah <laughs> it's I don't know I didn't find it super offensive or anything <laughs> but yeah I also chose this uh this transparent title with the Japanese version just because it was transparent it was just like a PNG I could just like throw it on there um also, I feel like just Japanese writing on, like, American horror movies and, like, the posters they come up with, it's so cool. So, I don't know, I just threw that in there. Uh, but yeah. Um, don't watch Cannibal Holocaust. Um, <laughs> watch Green Inferno instead. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and tell you not to watch it, but, like, if you value your mental health, don't watch Cannibal Holocaust. <laughs> 